this is the beginning of the plan. And, and I'm going to bring back to the council a whole plan, and it includes a lot of the things that a lot of people talked about, spay neutering, licensing, microchipping a little bit. And so we're going to put together a comprehensive plan to go after this problem. It's unfortunate that the folks that are here, and I guarantee everyone that spoke that has a pit bull or related to pit bull probably has an altered, licensed, vaccinated pit bull or pit bull mix, most likely. Anyone not that spoke? You know, it's not altered. Okay, and, and you know, uh, again, that's everyone. And, and he, I bet you he's licensed though, right? Pardon? He's probably licensed. Yes. Yeah. And so, you know, it's unfortunate because the people that are here are the responsible people. And it's just like license fees. We have the highest license fees in, the, in our area. Amen. And, uh, you know, and that's going to be one of the, our, the things that I'm going to bring back to the council. Now, they're not going to like lowering fees, and other than that, like, that's going to cost the city money. But if we don't do this, then people aren't going to register their animals. And they don't register altered animals because our fees are too high. So we have to have a comprehensive plan to tackle these things. You know, uh, our last council meeting, we were here at that meeting, you know, we, we had this pit bull attack in, in the county area. And uh, you're right, the, this program didn't stop that, but a man almost lost his arm. He wasn't the victim, because these were his. But I can't spay and neuter the irresponsible owners. But, <laughs> but you know, the, the reality is this. We, we have to do something. And I guarantee if I ask our sheriff, sheriff, you know, what are some of the issues? I don't even have to ask them. I live in the reflectionist community. And when I go running, I run out of Lake Elsinore, into the county, through Willowmore. I'm chased by chihuahuas, not a big deal, really. But I see the unaltered at pets that people are walking up and down the streets, and they're everywhere. There's a lot of them, folks. A lot of them. We visit the shelter on Park Street because we rent rent one of the rooms, and so we've adopted cats. And just recently, my wife adopted a terrier, silky, chihuahua mixed thing. It's cute, and it was easy to adopt. And I, we, my kids walk to that shelter every time we're there, twice a month, and I go through with them. And, and there are pit bulls, and there's some loving pit bulls, there's some docile pit bulls, and it's unfortunate because I love the breed, but they're there, and no one's taken them. So we're trying to stop the problem. We can't stop it if people are breeding them, and I've called animal friends when I see people selling them out of the back of their cars, at Costco, at Walmart, <coughs> I and mean, this is all over the place, folks. And these are the irresponsible ones, but we have to start somewhere, and this is part of one plan. This is one piece of our plan that we're going to put together to tackle this issue. And again, this issue is not just a pit bull issue. $500,000 that can be used for roads and streets and sidewalks, folks. We shelter animals. $500,000. Irresponsible people will not care. We can't, we can't take requests. For, if you want to speak, we need you to fill out a speaker, so please. Right. And thank you.